For years, they've lurked in their dungeons, vying for the title of boss monster. But a call has gone out, summoning them from their dark lairs to conquer the overworld. Which mastermind can bend this world to their will? Which monarch will raise the deadliest army of monsters? Which villain will build the most powerful map? Which boss will be crowned Overboss? Overboss is a video game inspired board game for one to five players. Players compete to build the deadliest overworld map. Player with the highest power score at the end of the game wins. To begin setup, give each player a player board. The board contains your map and your lair. Next, choose your terrain. Shuffle the terrain selection cards, then draw five to choose your terrain types. Or if it's your first game, we recommend starting with forests, caves, graveyards, swamps, and camps. Take the 12 corresponding tiles for each terrain type. You always add the eight dungeon tiles. Shuffle the tiles face down and place them in a stack. Take the 10 monster tokens and one crystal token that correspond to the terrains you've chosen. Place them in the token bag, along with the seven portals and six mini bosses. Finally, set up the market. Draw four terrain tiles and place them face up on the table. Draw four tokens, randomly placing each one next to a terrain tile. Now you're ready to play. Randomly choose a first player. On each turn, a player may draft and place one tile and token pair. Players go around the table as they fill their maps. You can place a terrain tile on any empty square of your map. If you draw a monster or miniboss token, you must place it on an open terrain tile if one is available. Dungeons are the only kind of tile that may not hold a monster or miniboss. If you draft a dungeon, you must place its token on another open tile. If you have no open tiles, place the unused token in your lair. On a future turn, you may place it onto a new tile you collect instead of the new token. Place the newly collected token in your lair instead. Crystals and portals are special tokens that always go into your lair. At the end of your turn, restock the market by replacing any empty spots. As you place your terrain tiles, it's crucial to keep in mind that each terrain type is scored differently. Each dungeon is worth one point, plus one point for each different terrain type bordering it. For example, this dungeon has four different terrain types on each side, so it's worth five total points. Your forest score is based on the total number you have collected. For example, this player's two forests are worth a total of three points. Each graveyard is worth one, two, or three points as shown on the tile. The player with the most graveyard scores five points, and the second most scores two points. Your camp score is based on how many unique camps you've collected, marked by the flag in the upper right-hand corner. A duplicate camp won't add to your score. Every cave is worth one point, plus two points if it borders a mountainous edge of the map. The three caves here are each worth three points, for a total of nine. Each swamp is worth one point, plus one point if it borders a watery edge of the map, plus one point if it borders another swamp, for a maximum of three points. Every terrain type has a corresponding monster, marked with the same icon. Each monster on its own terrain type is called a matching monster, and it's worth one point at the end of the game. You also get scores for lines of monsters called bands. Bands may be horizontal or vertical, but not diagonal. A monster token may be counted in both a horizontal and a vertical band. Mini bosses are worth two points, but do not count towards bands. Crystals are special tokens placed directly in your lair. A crystal gives you one point for each corresponding terrain tile on your map. For example, this player's forest crystal would be worth two points. Portals are not worth any points. If you draft a portal, place it in your lair face up. Once per turn, if you have a face up portal, you may flip it face down to move or swap the placement of up to two tokens on your map. At the end of the game, it's time to tally up the score. Fill in your score pad with the terrain tiles you've used this turn, then add up each player's score. In this example, the map has a power of 54, a good score. The player with the highest power score is crowned Overboss. Once you've played the basic game a couple of times, you're ready to add advanced tiles and boss cards. Check out our next video for details on these advanced play options.